Okay, okay, I was wrong. You are the best. So I'll tell everybody else that now too. What's up guys, Joe here from the Scruffy Fam. Hey, do me a favor, if you guys aren't already subscribed, go ahead hit that subscribe button. Um, just really helps our channel grow and uh, helps us get out there. YouTube's not a big fan of us gun tubers, but you guys can help us with that by subscribing. Um, yeah, so not too long ago, I did a video that said the Mossberg Patriot Predator was the best rifle under $500. Now I gave the Ruger American its due and said, yep, it's still a really good one, but with all the options that the Mossberg Patriot Predator offered, it was the best option under $500. Well, I was wrong. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong on something, and on that aspect, I was wrong. And I had to look at a couple things, okay? So, um, the Mossberg Patriot Predator comes in a very shiny package. You get fluted barrels, fluted um, bolts, you get true timber strata, flat dark earth, you get all the fancy chamberings, you can get all of those things for extremely, extremely budget prices. Uh, I looked at today for me to get a Mossberg Patriot Predator with the flat dark earth in 7PRC to order it from a distributor would cost me $388. $388 to get a hunting rifle. And that's extremely tempting. But let me tell you what I found out after owning a Mossberg Patriot for a while is that while it is capable of getting little tiny groups, it's also capable of getting big groups. So, time for me to recant, and yet again, the king is back. The Ruger American. Let's talk about it a little bit more. So... This is my Ruger American Standard. This is in 243. Um, we have a Magpul stock on it right now and a Vortex Diamondback. Yep, Vortex Diamondback on here. And this rifle just works. It works. It is a great hunting rifle. Um, it is consistently, since I've owned this rifle, has shot under one inch groups at 100 yards, okay? Consistently, doesn't really matter which ammo I feed it, consistently, regardless who's behind it, will shoot one inch or less. Uh, I just took this to the range to zero it, and this thing is shooting little teeny tiny groups with Precision Hunter ammo, uh, 90 grain ELDX from Hornady, and my 243 shoots little teeny tiny groups, which is great. Um, especially looking at this for pronghorn, uh, man, having an ammo that will do that makes me very excited. Uh, I am looking at doing some pronghorn hunting, uh, coming up in Oklahoma, um, and maybe Eastern Colorado, uh, it'd probably be next season, but getting something like this, it's not too heavy, um, and it can reach out and touch something, I'm pretty excited about that. So being able to find a factory ammunition that can do something like that is pretty impressive. But let's talk about our Ruger Americans here. So I've reviewed a couple different uh, Ruger Americans on my channel. Uh, I currently own three, <laughs> yeah, three Ruger Americans. Um, I have a Ruger American Go Wild and 6.5 Creedmoor. I have Ruger American Ranch in 7.62x39, and I have the Ruger American Standard in 243. I have owned a Ruger American Predator in 243 and a Ruger American Hunter in 308. So I've owned quite
quite a few Ruger Americans. And I didn't really get into upgrading their stocks until a couple months ago. Uh, for the most part, left them in whatever stock they came in. But then I decided to upgrade them and squeeze out every millimeter of accuracy I could get, okay? So, but I didn't have to. And that's the thing that I wanna get across is, um, if you're looking at buying a new hunting rifle and you look at my Ruger Americans and you see they're in all these chassis and have these different optics on them, that's not what you need. You can get a Ruger American scope combo for very affordable and it is going to get you through many, many hunting seasons with no problem whatsoever. The reason for that and why I think that Ruger Americans are really a step above is inside of them, they've got these metal V-blocks, okay? These stocks are, I mean, it's plastic. They're plastic. And so they put this honeycomb pattern in to give it some strength, um, but you're, you still get that contact if you load up heavy on it. Uh, but having that metal contact instead of plastic or resin makes this a very, very stable shooting platform. Uh, if something happened to my chassis system and it wasn't working very well, I could drop it back in this stock with no problem and be pretty confident in it. Uh, I wanted to see what the accuracy difference would be with this stock versus the Magpul stock on my 243. This is the original stock for my 243. And the difference with a bipod was pretty significant. I was doing about a one, one inch group with the exact same ammo as soon as I put it in the Magpul chassis, um, we were getting three quarter inch groups, same ammo, same everything, okay? So that is what you can do by upgrading the stock with it. But even before that, I was still doing one inch groups with this. And on top of it, if you guys go back and look at some of my videos with the Ruger American Ranch, uh, for a long time I had the Ruger American Ranch just in its regular stock configuration, and we were shooting little tiny groups with that too. So if you were looking for a budget-friendly hunting rifle that's going to get the job done, the Ruger American just continues to be the gold standard. Now a lot of people may say, well, what about this brand or this brand or this rifle or this rifle? And I can tell you guys that when I go to a gun shop um, or people come to me, to my gun shop and ask me, hey, I want to get a rifle for my kid. You know, I'm upgrading them into their first true hunting rifle. Uh, I don't want to break the bank, but I want something that's going to work. What should I get? And without hesitation, I always say Ruger American. Without hesitation. Always Ruger American. I'm getting into hunting. I've never really hunted before. I'm not sure uh, what type of rifle that I'm going to need. I have an idea of what I'm hunting. Um, what are some caliber recommendations you have and what type of rifle? Ruger American. Insert caliber. So the reason that I think the Ruger American has been so popular and will continue to be so popular is that it's affordable, it's available, and it's from a reputable American company. So here's the last part of it that I will tell you guys. There's not very many of these rifles from the major manufacturers that are still made in the US. They're just not. Ruger has continued to be American made. When you buy a rifle that says American on it, you'll know that your Ruger American was made in the USA. Okay. We can talk about all the technical specifications if you want of the cold hammer forged steel barrel. We can talk about the metal blocks. We can talk about the one piece bolt. We can talk about all of those things if you want. But at the end of the day, the reason that I recommend a Ruger American before any other rifle that exists is because you can take just about any Ruger American, grab just about 
any type of factory ammo, go to the range, get sighted in, and go hunting, and you'll be okay. So, I want to make something very clear. If you are looking for a competition-ready, target-shooting PRS NRL Hunter rifle, the Ruger American may not be the best option, okay? Um, MDT just did a video where they took a Ruger American and 6.5 Creedmoor and upgraded the snot out of it and did extremely well with it. But I would say right out of the box, if you're not willing to invest a couple thousand dollars into a Ruger American after you bought it, it's not your competition style rifle. It is a hunting rifle. So if you were looking for a hunting rifle that is going to get the job done and be accurate that when you pull that trigger, it's going to hit the thing that you're aiming at. I don't think you can beat a Ruger American. You don't need all the super fancy stuff until you know what you actually want. So I would say if you're looking to try out a caliber, you're new to hunting, you need to get a rifle for someone else in your life that's going to start hunting the Ruger American, bar none, best one out there. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment down below if you've got a Ruger American. What do you have? Uh, which style do you like the best? I have to say the Ruger American Hunter is a pretty sweet option with that thicker barrel, but they only offer it in 308 and 65. I've become a huge fan of the 7.62x39. I didn't think I would be, but I'm really loving that one. Uh, the 6.5 Creedmoor has surprised me. It really has. And the 243 has always been what it is, a very easy shooting, very accurate round. So, guys, I hope you like it, and I'll see you guys next time.